Alright, so what's going on everyone? This is China Connor. We're here for a team overview for the Enter the Dragon type competition that is currently going on right now. So I figured why not make a video about my team. So without further ado, let's get to it. My first Pokemon is Bruno, the Hirayama with Agamemnon and Sure Force. With a Citrus Berry, I'm not going to be using Fake Out, but if I have to use it for some purpose, then I'll use it. Because I know Fake Out isn't going to work in that regard with Sheer Force. But I am using it for Wide Guard, and that's pretty much the reason why I'm bringing Hariyama for this tournament. It's going to be very useful for the likes of Primo Kyogre and Primo Gudon, with close combat and Rock Slide for coverage. So, yes, Hariyama is going to be there for Wide Guard shenanigans. And hopefully it's gonna work out. We'll have a match in which it will hopefully display that going on there. So that's Hariyama. Let's move on to my second Pokemon. Alright, we have a Scarf Mewtwo here. Not going Mega because I know what my Mega is going to be. And it should be obvious. It's going to be Mega Altaria. But I wanted to have a Scarf variant to bypass some very fast Pokemon in this tournament. And I'm going to sell it on Mewtwo, I know it might not be the best choice, and it's also modest, so it's not timid or whatever, but I think it's going to work out. It has Side Strike with Aura Sphere, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. A ton of coverage, and we need coverage to hit almost everything that's going to be in this tournament. Mainly Ice Beam, just because all the Dragon type Pokemon. Aura Sphere and Thunderbolt provide excellent coverage to hit Dialga, Thunderbolt can hit Bruno Kyogre or Cloyster or anything weird like that. I don't know. Maybe Koga Kiss as well, but we'll see how we do with that. So Scarf Mewtwo is going to be very, very fun. And I think the problem with that is that you're locked in in one move when you have a choice item. So eventually you're going to have to switch out a little bit more often. And it's going to just limit myself with Mewtwo, but it will just be fine. Don't worry. Mewtwo is going to be very useful. No doubt about that. And also, we are going to have another Legendary. You can have up to two mythical Pokemon in this tournament. No more than two. And that is going to be Eveltal. I finally decided to use Eveltal. I actually EV trained this Eveltal recently just because I didn't like the EV spike previously in X and Y. I figured having foul play to help out with Groudon because I don't think I have anything to hit Groudon with besides that foul play there. Foul play is going to be very very fun. Alongside Oblivion Wing for recovery. Alongside hitting the opposing Pokemon. Phantom Force just for the heck of it I guess. I'm not going to use that very often. And Dark Pulse if I get burned or you know I can hit something else that is not really really useful on the special side. That's why I went for the Dark Pulse there. And that is going to be it for those mythical Pokemon. And last but not least, we have Mega Altaria with Dragon Pulse, Moonblast, Roost, and last but not least, Fire Blast. There we go. Fire Blast. I'm looking right at it. Fire Blast. Really good. Really good team. I think that will do great. I have some battles that I'm going to post over the weekend displaying the action between these four guys that I am going to be using in the ETDT. That's the abbreviation for Enter the Dragon type competition. If you guys enjoyed this little overview, I know it's kind of quick, but you know what? Having a quick description instead of like having a 10 minute video going over everything it's kind of like a drag in my opinion so having a short brief overview is kind of suitable for me if you enjoy this be sure to hit that like button and look forward to some battles over the weekend all right you guys have a great day i'll see you later bye now